everybody and this is Narendra Kumar and today we are going to give you an introduction to our section of philosophy uh, in nrkacademy.com. Now think of a situation, uh, there's a Hindi movie which came, uh, the name was P.K. Now this P.K. is an alien who comes to earth. Now for a moment imagine that you are P.K. Forget your knowledge, forget everything. You are seeing you are an individual, you are seeing the earth, you are on earth, okay. you are seeing the star in it, you are seeing the whole world. For a moment think, where are you? That is philosophy. When the man started, think of the early man for, for example, he didn't know he was a man. In fact you will say, sir, how can that, that be, you know, but you are able to know so much because of the world created by the great philosophers. It is because of philosophy primarily that we are here. So if you can remove all that knowledge and look at it fresh, again you will become a philosopher. Where are you? Where are you? You will say, I am on earth. You are on earth, then where is God? The people say there is another world. Now where is that world? Who said that? Is there another world? You get my point. Are you a God? or? Um, are, is God within you or is there a God? You know, the concept of God, uh, it's almost like as if we need a God concept. Why do we need a God concept? See, it shakes you. You're looking for roots. The science that gives the roots to living as such is wisdom. Love for wisdom is philosophy. Philosophy. Philosophy was introduced in the Greek times. So that's why you should know history. If you know history, you will know that there was a Greek times. That there was 300 BC, there was a Greek times, and during that time, there were three great philosophers Socrates, Aristotle, and Plato. Socrates was a very interesting person, and he said, I don't know anything. For a man to say he doesn't know anything is a very deep statement. I'll tell you how. If you're saying truthfully, I don't know anything, then the next step is, I will know. Think about it. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Which means, I. All the fantasies, illusions are gone. Then you, you have to go for truth. Once you say you don't know anything, you can go for truth. But if you say, I know, there is a God, somebody told me, now I believe this, I don't care, then you won't know. You understand? So Socrates was the greatest philosopher that way. He inaugurated philosophy. And then there were, there were two philosophers, Aristotle and Plato. And the journey of philosophy began. It shaped history. Your belief systems shape your life. Shape your life. What you believe. Is it true or not or what? Is it correct? The fundamental science that unites all the sciences is philosophy. What is science? Does science give truth? What is truth? Is this all this real which I see around me? Or is it an illusion? Is it maya? Is this pen a pen? That's why philosophers are called mad people. Then what is this pen a pen? It's a pen. If it's a pen, then what is a ghost? It is neither a thing or not. It is, it is there and not there. You understand what is a God? Again, we come back to the reality of things. Yes, philosophy is about reality. And that subject is called metaphysics. Philosophy is also about knowledge. What is knowledge? What is truth? That, is a, that uh, science is called epistemology, which was this, all these definitions were inaugurated in the Greek times. Ethics. See, everybody says, be a good boy. What is good? Good for whom? For you or for others or what? And why should you be good? And what is good? Good and bad. Ethics. Politics is also a branch of philosophy. Politics. How should we live together? Plato says something. Aristotle says something. Spinoza says something. What is the truth? Each person has to find it out for himself. And finally you have aesthetics. What is art? That is also a branch of philosophy. These five branches were inaugurated. Even the names which I am naming now, metaphysics, epistemology, ethics, politics and aesthetics was introduced in the Greek time. The Greek civilization was an extraordinary civilization. Maybe because they had a lot of leisure. For whatever reason, they thought deeply about what? No, not about what should I get for dinner. No, they thought about life as such. Am I a biological animal or am I a god? Is this world real or not? Is there life after death? What is death and what? How, where? Where am I? That is philosophy. And we are going to cover every single philosopher and we're going to give you a very interesting essence of it only. 
You don't have to read 100 books to know philosophy. You have to read the essence and grasp the essence with your own mind. And there's also a philosophical truth. Okay, you can't escape philosophy. To be a man and not a cat or a dog or an animal is to be a philosopher. Okay, so this is Narendra Kumar, a short introduction for you to invite you to go through all the philosophers which we'll be presenting you, the essential philosophers and what impact they had and what they said. Thank you so much. This is Narendra Kumar and we are from NRK Academy.